Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor, nay, it's my privilege to announce the award for Best Actor goes to Eric Lindstrom. <laughs> Eric Lindstrom, huh? I really thought she had it tonight. Yeah, well, I guess they went for experience over talent. <sighs> nah, I'm trying to cut back. Don't worry about it. You'll get it next time. Eric fucking Lindstrom. I mean, what's so great about him? He's just sound and fury signifying nothing. Oh, bastard. You, uh, you heard that, didn't you? Yep. Are you following me? No. But I'm not taking the stairs either. Must be good to win, eh? Huh. Walking up to that stage, receiving that massive ovation. Huh. Not everyone was clapping. Yeah, well, I'm just saying that it would be not. Oh, man. Oh, man, I knew it. I knew it. Oh, I knew if you came into this elevator, something. Oh, God. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Get a hold of yourself, kid. Oh. <gasps> well, I suppose you want my taxi too. So what'd you write up, huh? Your acceptance speech. What'd it say? Why would I tell you? Well, since you're so rudely fucked off while I was accepting this award, I'd like to know what you have to say. Why do you want to know? It says a lot about a person. What they write in anticipation of great personal victory. Well, what did yours say? Yours first. Okay, it's humiliating. Lee, it's not as bad as you think. <sighs> wow. Thank you. What a. 
What a humbling moment in my life. I've made it to Shangri-La. And I'm proud. I know this doesn't make me a somebody, but at least I'm one step further away from being a nobody. I just hope you all understand how important you are to me. Thank you. I've made it. So, how many times did you have to rehearse that? Enough. Why? I just wanted it to seem real. Anyway, what did yours say? Me? I told them to go and fuck themselves. Why do you think I was hiding in the toilet half the night? Do you... Do you think I could hold it? This? It's just a bit of plastic, kid. Yeah, well, it's, uh... It's real to me. <laughs> <laughs> 